Hi, I'm Brigzar, and I have my legs turned around backwards, not because this giant shark is eating me, but because I wanted to show you that this building technique was used the very first year that the Lego minifigure ever existed, 1978. And that is what Brick Shark and I are going to show you, a Lego set from 1978. It is this set, which is the nursery. Set 297. So set 297, again, came out in 1978, and it falls in the line of the homemaker, or as I like to call them, building set with people sets. And this was probably made more for girls than it was for boys, and that's why it was a nursery, and you have a young girl playing with it on the cover. My box is a little ripped up, but it shows you some alternate builds in here, which includes the minifigure legs turned backwards there with that minifigure. And we're going to discuss this minifigure because in some places in the suggested things it is representative of a baby. In other places it's a doll, apparently. At least I hope it is. So here is the nursery. It comes with a desk, a chair, two kids. This guy's got a receding hairline. So you got a boy and a girl. I, or you could say three kids. Is that a kid or is that a doll? You got a bunk bed, wagon, and the kid can pull the wagon around. Much, oh no, not the books off the shelf. It's a lot of fun. So um, it's got a phone too, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put the books back on the shelf. So the Maxi figures, they have a little hard time because uh, you have to build their legs. And what we've done here, what we've done here, like my grammar, is the girl is sitting down, but you can rebuild her to where she is standing up by doing this. Yes, you have to take people's bodies apart to do anything. And now she is actually taller than the boy. And the thing with the, the hair is you can change the hair around, but that makes it look like a little older person, I think. I don't know. What do you think? You can do the same thing with a boy. You can give him messy hair. We'll turn it around this way, which I think is more like a boy. And then here is their little sister, who actually has movable legs and arms. Hi! I'm better than you. Or, as in this setting, I just assume that it's a doll because it's sitting on the shelf and you wouldn't throw a baby on the doll because it could fall like that and hurt itself. On here, I don't know if this is a toy phone or a real phone. This is probably some kind of dollhouse there, I'm assuming, that they've built. Maybe they even built it at a Lego. And then you got the nursery pattern. If I could just get that fly swatter. All right. So they have a fly swatter in the nursery. What do you need the fly swatter for? Was that common? I mean, we had fly swatters all the time because you had, and this stuff does not stay. We had fly swatters when I was a kid because you had to keep the windows open and so flies got in because uh, if you kept the windows closed, you'd suffocate and die because we didn't have air conditioning. So maybe that's why they have a fly swatter. But I just thought that was kind of weird <laughs> choice of uh, decoration, a fly swatter. <laughs> oh well. He's going to take little sis for a ride. Woo! Woo! Ow! Ow! Woo! Lots of fun. See how this thing provides minutes of fun. It's a great set. Whoops. All right, so it's actually got these wheels here that are that would be used in the space theme as well. That's pretty neat. So we turn her legs around backwards so she can sit down. Or you could sit her down the right way. But when you do it the right way, then her legs are in the way. She can't put her hands on the side as easy. So I liked it the other way better. So what do you think of these old maxi figures? They, Lego did keep them around, at least in a few sets, until 1983. Uh, but pretty much when this little character came around, they started phasing these out. You didn't see them as much. And the box with this set came, that came with the set, you can actually store everything back in it without taking it apart which is pretty cool. I don't, I mean, not all the sets were like that, 
lay that doll down, have to lay her down like that. But it's a good storage device. Using reusing the box like that. It's pretty cool. And this is what the instructions would look like if they weren't well mine are torn. Uh, but it shows you the basic build there. And I don't think there's anything, yeah, there's nothing else on it but the actual build. Mine got torn, which is kind of common with these fold-out instructions. All right, so that is a Lego set. I have all the pieces. It's complete. I have the instructions, and I have the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start keeping an inventory of everything that I have. And we're going to try to figure out how many sets that Brickzar has. So if you have any requests for things for me to look for, you know, you can do that. But we're just going to go through and category, um, catalog everything and get an inventory of all the sets that we have. So we may end up showing some sets here on this channel that you've seen before as I go through and make sure they are complete. And then I'm going to take them apart and store them until we have the inventory. And then the next thing that we would do after that is to put them all back together when we can display them. But the first thing to do is uh, to see what we actually have and group these things together. I'll probably put all the homemaker sets together. So there will, I, I've created a, a brick set uh, inventory for Brick Czar. Uh, before all my inventories have been under Jabbo, which was my original brick set account. I've done lost track of how many sets are there, but this is going to be actual sets that we show here and verify that they're complete with instructions if they came with instructions and things like that. So check that out. I'll try to remember to put a link to that in the description as I add things to the Brick Czar Lego Collection. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. My goal is to get to 2,502 unique Lego sets that are complete with instructions that they came with it and all that. So. Let's see if we can do it in one year. 2,502 LEGO sets. We'll see.